Mimeo Notebook has the ability to open and convert different file types. This is very helpful when you're using existing materials or presentations, or if you're pulling something off the internet. You could then take these lessons, work inside the Mimeo Notebook, and this gives you an added ability to edit your text, do additional formatting, or even add in more content to your presentation. This also gives you the ability to annotate over or create any interactives using that content you already have. By converting those existing files, you do not have to hassle with making an entire presentation for your class. Mimeo Notebook can convert PDFs, Word documents, and PowerPoint presentations. It also can convert those Smart Notebook files and Promethean flip chart files. The added bonus to all of this is that you have the ability to download a variety of already made lessons from three lesson portals. You have Mimeo Connect for all those Mimeo files already, and then you have Smart Exchange for the notebook files, and you have Promethean Planet, which is now called ClassFlow, for flip chart files. Here is a list of all the file types that Mimeo Notebook can open and convert into an ink file. It is important to note that opening some of these files is not reliable in the Mac OS Sierra operating system. If you do encounter an error when you're trying to open and convert a file, if possible, try to save that file as a PDF and then you should be able to open and convert that file into a Mimeo presentation. An important note that I'd like to point out is that you may either open files or insert files. If you open a file, it creates a whole new presentation. If you want to insert a file, it will be added to a presentation that you already have open. Inserting is great when you want to add something just to a presentation you've already started creating within Mimeo. I'm going to walk you through how to open each of these file types. First, we will open a PDF file. Go to File, Open. Once the Open window comes up, make sure that you change the file type that you're looking for. We are looking for a PDF, so I'll click on that. Select your file and Open. The PDF will open as a whole new presentation when you use the file Open. The presentation will load in the orientation to match the pages in the file. The horizontal pages will load horizontally and the vertical pages will load vertically like you see here. Each page of the PDF will become its own page on the presentation. The page loads like an image in the background so that you can zoom in and annotate over the top. This is great for when you want to work right along with your students on a worksheet that they may have been given. Remember that you may also insert these files if you would like to add them to a Mimeo presentation that you've already created. This is wonderful when you're working through a lesson and then you wanna pull off that worksheet for your students to work right on. In order to insert a file, you just need to go up to insert, file, and then select the file that you would like to insert into the open presentation in front of you. Next, we'll open a PowerPoint. Go to file, then open, don't forget to change your file type, select your file, and open. Sometimes when you open a PowerPoint, the file can take a little while to load. This is due to the conversion of all those objects and the formatting from the PowerPoint over to a Mimeo Inc. file. If you look for the loading document down in the lower left corner, you'll see that that file is working on getting loaded up. Once your presentation has opened and converted into the Mimeo file, you should have the ability to double click on text if you would need to edit or change the text. And you can move around objects or add additional objects to that presentation. Also, if you've used a slide or a presentation theme from PowerPoint, that slide image will show up in the background as a background image that you can change. Next, we will open a smart notebook file. Go to File, Open, change your file type, go to Smart Notebook File, select your file, and open. Please be aware when you're opening Smart or Promethean lessons, sometimes not all of the animations or interactives will come over since they are different proprietary features to those existing software programs. Once the lesson opens, if you are unable to move your objects to make your edits, don't forget that you may need to unlock or ungroup. So if you right click, and unlock all, now I have the access and the ability to move those objects around to how I'd like them. Last, we will open a Promethean flip chart file. Go to File, Open, 
change the file type, select the Promethean file, and open. Once the presentation has opened, make sure you do know that it is opening as a new file and this is listed as untitled, so it's not yet saved. It's also important to note that sometimes when you're opening these new presentations, that the format or the font styles may vary and they don't look exactly the same when you open them up into Mimeo. If you'll notice here, as I'm navigating through my slides, I see that my font is a little bit off. So there's some adjustments that I will need to make. I just need to make sure I unlock them. And sometimes you may need to ungroup in order to make those changes. You make your adjustments to how you would like them and then you just want to make sure that you save this file. Don't forget that if you want to add to an existing presentation you already have, you need to use the insert. But if you're opening a whole new presentation that you'd like to save, use open. To save the file once you've made all of your adjustments, you just need to go up to file and save. Title this presentation how you would like to remember it, and it will save as an ink file. You will no longer have to convert this and you can just use it straight into Mimeo and make your interactives from there. Click save and you're ready to go. With this ability to open such a variety of file types, you can begin working in Mimeo just by converting any of your existing files you already have.